Hi guys. In this lecture, we will discuss about the voltage transformation ratio. Transformation ratio means it can be called as Turns ratio also. So I will explain you clearly. Voltage transformation ratio. It is indicated by K. It is defined as the ratio of secondary voltage to the primary voltage. Already we know that. See here, this is a transformer. This is the V1 voltage, primary voltage. This is V2 voltage, secondary voltage. So voltage transformation ratio is represented by K. So K is equal to it is the simply defined as the ratio of secondary voltage to the primary voltage. So V2 by V1. So from transformation ratio, we can define the transformer is step up or step down. So we can say the transformer is step up or step down from the K value. So if the K value is greater than one, then it is called step up transformer. If K value is less than one, then it is called step down transformer. How can we say if N2 is greater than N1? If N2 is greater than N1, N1 and N2 are the number of turns in the primary winding and number of turns in the secondary winding. Number of turns in the primary winding represented by N1. Number of turns in the secondary winding is represented by N2. So EMF or voltage is directly proportional to the e number of turns. So EMF is directly proportional to the number of turns. Okay. So N2 by N1. So N2 by N1. N2 is more compared to N1 means secondary turns are more. It means secondary voltage, induced voltage is also more compared to primary. So there is a transformer. This transformer has EMF E1 and E2. So number of turns in the secondary winding more. It means N2 is more. N2 more means E2 is also more. So E2 induced EMF is also high compared to E1 because N2 is greater than N1. So when the EMF is induced more compared to primary, then it is called step up transformer. Already this topic is discussed in the types of transformers. Step up transformer, step down transformer. Step up transformer means primary uh, secondary voltage is more compared to primary. So N2 is more compared to N1 means it is a step up transformer when N2 is more compared to N1. Now see here K is equal to V2 by V1. That is also is equal to N2 by N1 because voltage means EMF is directly proportional to the number of turns. So N2 by N1. K is equal to V2 by V1 is equal to N2 by N1. So N2 number of turns more compared to N1. It means more number of turns divided by less number of turns is equal to it, com it, it compulsory greater than 1. The ratio compulsory greater than 1. So K value is greater than 1. Then it is called step up transformer. If K value is, is less than 1, then it is called step down transformer. So transformation ratio K is equal to V2 by V1 that is equal to N2 by N1. Now we will find the relation, bet relation between current and voltage. So now again for an ideal transformer, input power is equal to output power. Power is in VA volt amperes. So input volt amperes is equal to output volt amperes. That is V1 into I1 is the input power. V2 I2 is the output power. From this relation, we can say that V2 by V1 is equal to I1 by I2. So that is equal to I1 by 2. From this equation, you can conclude that voltage V2 by V1 that is equal to I1 by 2. It means voltage is inversely proportional to the current. So if voltage is increases, if voltage is increases from primary to V1, V2. So from primary to secondary, then automatically current will current will be decreases from primary to secondary. I think you can understand from the uh, from this equation, you can understand the point voltage is inversely proportional to voltage is inversely proportional to the current. It means voltage increases, current should automatically decreases. Then only power will be balanced from primary to secondary. Okay. This is the concept of uh, transformation ratio. This is very, very important concept to find the problems. If you want to find the, if you want to solve the problems of a transformer, this concept is very, very important. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next class.